Hello guys, welcome back to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing because we frequently upload videos to this channel. So subscribe so that you don't miss out any new video that we are going to upload. Don't forget to share, like, and give a comment. Share, like, give a comment. All right. So uh, three videos up by now so make sure that you watch part one part two and part three before watching this one and the links to those videos are provided in the description um we have looked at um, what is being displayed right now on the screen and uh, we are now going to look at um types of data that um, microsoft excel can actually work with so uh, how do we format cell values to two decimal places? Here are the steps, but we don't want to just show you the steps. We want to go practically. We want to do it practically, showing you how to do it so that if you follow me step by step, you are going to perform it perfectly. So what we do right now is I will indicated what we want to do this is the first thing in this video how do we perform, how do we format cell values to two decimal places we are going to perform this but after uh, after we've done that we are going to be able to uh, to, 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 to format cell values to any uh, this uh, any value decimal places any value for instance so you can format cell values to three decimal places four three seven eight or zero if you want right so that's the first thing and secondly we will look at how to change numbers to currency and how to enter a fraction and uh, i will encourage you to like comment share and subscribe so let's get into business let's get into practical let's get into practice all right so how do we convert what let's go to second sheet i'll just put um uh, fruit here and then i will say price all right so we have an apple here yeah, and then we have uh, orange and from orange we have um banana let's just have these three and the price of an apple these days is what it's 15 bonds so we say 15 dollars 15 70 this is the price right and uh let's just put a uh, price of, of an orange it's five point is an orange going for five point ten point what ten point uh, one two three four five um, and then banana is going for yes this one is going for five point you can get a five point uh, five dollars in banana all right so you say five point um three two one four seven whatever in terms then like that so we, what, what we want is when we are talking about money these values must be must have two values after the comma or it must be in two uh, decimal places right so what we do is uh, we highlight the cells these are the three cells and then we can just click on this dollar sign it's not changed to money but now we this that's uh, method number one or you can right click and then format cell format cell format cells there and there from there let's wait for a pop-up to come there is the pop-up right so we go to number if you want you can say currency which is that and uh that's what we used here this is just a shortcut but now let's deal to deal with it as a number here i can say three four five or you can say let me just put one here so you can see you see you put one there but the data or the values are, are not lost 
we didn't lose anything it's just rounded to to one decimal place so if you want two decimal places you can still put our two there and then say okay if you don't want two if you want seven you can just put seven there delete and then put seven then say okay see seven values will come see all right so let's put it to this one places since this is money put it to two there and then click ok and then save our document just like that we are done on formatting values to formatting cell values to two decimal places so these are the steps that um, we have followed up until we are done how do we change the numbers to currency using that dollar sign we have done that how do we enter a, a fraction to enter fractions leave a space between the whole number and the fraction you get it between the whole number and the fraction for instance we have one and one eight let's go back to there and say one and one over eight so that's it this one you see this is the fraction value of that number 1.128125 so if it's one comma five if I want to put one one and a half, I can say one, one over two. Okay. This one is one comma five. You see? So that's how we put fractions in these cells. Let me say one point seven five. I can say one comma three over four. And that's one comma one. Yes. One comma seven five. That's it. So that's how you put fractions inside the cells. How to end a fraction only? End a zero first. For example, zero and that. For example, we want to say one comma four or one comma seven. What we do is we say, let's say here yeah, one fifteen comma seven five. Let's just say fifteen space uh, three over four. So this one will be fifteen over seven. Just like that one and so forth so here what we want to do is we want to put only a fraction like 0 minus 7 5 then 3 over 4 so if i put that one you will see that it's 0 comma 75 so that's it that's how we put uh, uh fractions inside the cells excel will interpret the number as a date general four if you just say one over four all right so that's how it's done i think uh, we are done for today yeah we are done i uh, thank you so much for watching this video and the previous videos please don't forget to give it a like give it a comment share with your friends family members and colleagues and last but not least don't forget to subscribe to this channel subscribing is for free just click uh, a button like this at the bottom there at the bottom of this video uh, it's for free subscribing is free so why not subscribing so that you don't miss out any new video why not why not subscribe so thank you very much for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day goodbye